Ethereum continues to play around in this range here. But what does that mean for the price of Ethereum? In today's episode, we're going to discuss the potential price target we may find if we take the bullish scenario. So make sure you stick around to the end of the episode to find out my bullish price target as well as potential bearish price targets for Ethereum. So guys, what we're seeing happening for the Ethereum price at the moment is over the past few days, we've seen it playing around in this range. And that's actually concurrent with what's happening to the Bitcoin price right now. However, Bitcoin is being pushed into a narrowing channel, indicating that Bitcoin is going to have to make a move eventually. We'll jump over to the Bitcoin chart shortly, as well as the Ethereum Bitcoin chart. But something I want to draw your attention to, which in the shorter term is sort of slightly perhaps alarming for the price, is we can see at the moment, looking down at the RSI, the strength of Ethereum going lower. And what that indicates is that as the price is going up, we're getting weakness coming in from buyers. Okay, so less buyers to support the higher prices. And ultimately, this is called a bearish divergence and can potentially result in a price drop. Also, this is an ascending channel. So that does tend to mean as well, that it is more of a bearish move as the price gets higher, we do get the prices to squeeze and this can potentially drop out the bottom. But what you saw happen yesterday, we did see it take this level at around the $3,131 level and we were able to find significant support and over an eight hour period, we then climbed up to 3,324. What we're seeing happening now is a lower volume where we're seeing sort of static uh, price around this area here where we're not seeing a significant amount of movement. And as we do tend to see lower volume in the market, that does tend to mean that we're moving towards making some sort of a big move. So it's very interesting to see what is playing out at the moment. If we take a Fibonacci retracement from the daily close all the way back on the 12th of May and we drop it down to the daily close, uh, the lowest daily closes which we had uh, around the 20th of July, then we can see something significant happening at the moment. And what we have found today is we did push up towards the top level of this channel, we have dipped down, but we are being held in place by the 0.618. Okay, so that's very significant for us at the moment. Okay, so there's a few scenarios that could potentially play out for us here. Okay, so we're still in the sort of decision making phase. But if we were to take a bull flag scenario, which is basically from the last time that we had a dip down, as you can see, we had that dip back down around the 3rd of August. And then we had our sort of the final run into this high section before having uh, multiple up and down days. Uh, we can see that this flagpole, if we were to take it from a potential breakout position, which would be somewhere perhaps around here, that brings us to this key level uh, up towards the top of this retracement, which is around $4,181. And as we can see in the past, we did ultimately close at this level for one day, and then we reopened and then had a sudden dip back down. We came back up and we retested this significant level. So pretty much around the $4,175 level. Now, that's not necessarily 100% going to play out. If we're to take a bearish scenario, so obviously until we break out of here and we have perhaps a four hourly candle above this orange line, then we are always potentially looking at a bearish scenario. And as I've mentioned, we do have the decreasing strength on the RSI, as well as this being a, as well as this being a rising wedge, which often does break to the downside. That means that we would then come back down to this sort of level at around the $2,876 level and potentially even further. But on the way down, we do have this significant level of the 0.5 on the Fibonacci as well as further down, we have the 0.382. So we'll potentially, if we were to take that dip back down, we can see that we have significant levels in the past of resistance that that could potentially flip into support. And we could perhaps come back down for a retest before pushing back further towards the upside. However, things remain Still bullish, in my opinion, as long as we remain above this 618. It's hit multiple times on both the top side and the bottom side, showing that these are kind of verified uh, verified markers for support and resistance. If we jump across to the Bitcoin chart, then we can see something similar, but perhaps slightly different from what's happening on Ethereum. In terms of what we see here, we have had a few touches both on the top and the bottom, but we are pushing in a very upward trajectory. Unlike Ethereum, which is moving slightly more steadily sideways rather than in an upwards direction. It's also worth noting here, although we did have this high on the RSI, we are starting to regain strength on the Bitcoin chart. And ultimately, if Bitcoin is able to hold this bottom line of support and push towards the top side, then in my opinion, we're looking 
for something potentially very exciting in Bitcoin and most importantly in Ethereum as well as the rest of the cryptocurrency market. If we jump across to the Ethereum Bitcoin chart, we can see something very exciting again is playing out. So we did have this sort of descending channel and we did have that break to the upside where we hit a high of around 7.2%, uh, Ethereum being worth 7.2% of a Bitcoin. And ultimately the breakout target for this is all the way up towards 9.2%. What we have had in the last couple of days is we, we did have this symmetrical triangle and we did break to the upside before staying stiffly rejected but ultimately it has kind of found support at the top level of this pattern and we could see potentially a bounce towards the upside. Ultimately, if Bitcoin is gonna be falling, then Ethereum will fall harder than Bitcoin and if Bitcoin is due to go up, then we ultimately will see Ethereum performing much more strongly. So it'll be interesting to see if we hold this level for Ethereum, then ultimately I think we can see Ethereum pushing up in price, Bitcoin as well, but ultimately it's got a much bigger market cap. It takes a lot more money flowing into Bitcoin for Bitcoin to be able to move as aggressively. And on the flip side, when there's sales going on, people are selling, it does mean that Ethereum does tend to fall much quicker than a Bitcoin. But things are looking quite healthy for Ethereum over on the Ethereum Bitcoin chart, as well as all of the charts. And did I see a decisive move from Bitcoin and Ethereum? I'm sitting on the fence with regards to trades. Ultimately, in terms of a bullish price target, then we're looking towards all-time highs and beyond. Sounds good to you, make sure you smash that like button. If you're new to the channel and you hold Ethereum, you're interested in making money with Ethereum, then make sure you hit that subscribe button. In the next few days, I'm gonna to look to make a trading video and it will also include some bonuses, etc., as well. So you can perhaps get involved in looking to short the market as well as long the market. This way, then you can look to make money whether the market is going up or whether the market is going down and ultimately could be a very good source of some extra income. Thanks very much for watching guys and I will see you again with another video tomorrow. Bye bye.